Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I'm here with another Inktober video. So today's prompt was fat. Now the only character I could think that was fat and completely huggable was none other than our adorable little Baymax. So, I mean, there's not much to do with Baymax when you look at him. He's just this big white marshmallow balloon figure of a guy. <laughs> So I wanted to do something a little bit Halloween-y with Baymax, like he was trick-or-treating, and I wanted to make him like a little warlock witch kind of a dude. He looks like a witch to me, and I think it's adorable. So I didn't like, I didn't, there's so much shading that you can do with Baymax, and I kind of just wanted to shade him a little bit. And you don't want to go too heavy with the shading on Baymax because he is this big white marshmallow and he always has to be this white figure of a balloon. And so it was it was really hard because I found myself um, shading too much and then I was hoping, well, he is trick-or-treating so I want to have him like out in the, the nighttime or I don't know. It was just, it was a bit of a challenge to shade Baymax with um, ink. And I had an art day yesterday with my friends, Wes, Jackie, and Morgan. And he was trying, and Wes was trying to teach them how to use ink when it, and he was trying to explain that when you put the ink down, it's nothing like watercolor. It, when you put the ink down on the paper, if you leave it there too long, it'll turn into a blotch on your paper because it dries so fast. Watercolor is somewhat, you're able to kind of control watercolor a little bit as opposed to ink. When you put the ink down on the paper, whatever paper you're using, whether it's watercolor paper or my regular thick cardstock of a paper in my Elo sketchbook, then it's just... It's hard to control it because it's going to stay there if you don't start moving it around immediately. So that's why when you're using ink in washes, when you add water to it and you use a little bit of ink, then you have to immediately start pushing it around and shading in that area or it dries and it'll become that splotch on your paper. Another thing I wanted to practice in this particular video, just because Baymax is such an easy character, I wanted to line everything in this picture with an actual brush tip pin, just to challenge me a little bit more, because I told you guys I fear brush tip pins because, I don't know, I'm a sh I have a pretty shaky hand when it comes to lining, so I'm not that awesome at lining, and, I, and when it comes to brush tip pins, if you have a shaky hand like I do, then the lining's just not completely amazing unlike Jake Parker's brush tip pins doodles that he makes they're perfect but then again he made this challenge to get better with brush tip pins in his lining because he's amazing <laughs> so I just I want to challenge myself more and more each day with every single post for inktober just to get better at inking altogether even if it comes to lining with a brush tip pin I love breaking up the lines as you can see I'm doing on Baymax because I don't know I think it has a really cool effect and Jake Parker does the same effect with his brush tip um, mining techniques but yes so Baymax was a pretty easy doodle but at the same time he was challenging to me because it seems that the easy doodles are always the most challenging <laughs> but I hope you guys love this cute little Halloweeny Baymax and I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all tomorrow